What is up, y'all? It is your boy Weep Healer in the house doing a pack opening today. Hopefully, you guys had a great holiday. Very Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you guys celebrate. I definitely had a good time, and I'm going to tell you the story about Christmas Day in this pack opening. Did 10 15K packs thanks to EA. They dropped out Drumbo 13 packs. And uh, if you guys need coins to check out packs to buy good players and get great squads, check out the gamekeys.co.uk. The link will be in the description below. Be sure to click on that and use Weeps for 5% off. And they might even have the Christmas special still xmas gets 10 percent off so awesome stuff check them out they've also got coins and uh sorry msp and things like that so awesome stuff christmas day holy moly unbelievable we did it at my house as normal and uh dude here comes the story okay so christmas eve we go shopping for last minute gifts we're like i'll oh, hit the grocery store on the way back you know to get food because we've got about 15 people coming to our house so christmas eve we hit up the grocery store at about 5 50 and they closed at six o'clock so we were able to get stuff for Christmas Eve, and that was it. They closed, <laughs> kicked us out, basically, and uh, we're like, yeah, yeah, the other store down the road is going to be open on Christmas Day, Christmas morning. So I'm like, oh, that's that's great. So I got to get up Christmas morning, open gifts, tired as heck, you know, and then make my way to the grocery store to pick up groceries for 15 people that are coming to my house. All right, so that doesn't leave me much time to make dinner, but it ended up working out kind of good, except that I woke up Christmas morning and got in the car, drove to the grocery store, and they're closed. So that was fun. Um, I was kind of crapping my pants at this point. So I Googled on my phone, where the heck is the grocery store open? Because I need food. In like two hours, I got people coming to my house for Christmas Day. You can't exactly say, hey, yeah, welcome, man. We got no food. Sorry. Uh, I didn't even have a freaking bag of chips to give people. So I'm Googling stuff, trying to find places open, and there were no places open. I could not get any food for Christmas. So this is the grand old story in this big scheme of things. Families come together for Christmas time. I actually went over to my in-law's house and raided his freezer because he had all sorts of meat in there. So we had the most smorgasbord Christmas dinner ever, but it turned out great and everybody ate very well. I was actually on my deck in 20 degree weather, which in our, you know, not Celsius, Fahrenheit. It was cold. It was freezing. I was out there grilling spare ribs on my grill. We made pork chops. We made chicken breasts with breadcrumbs. We had uh, my parents brought potatoes little mini wiener hot dogs that we cooked in the oven uh what else did we have mashed potatoes like i said she brought uh just crazy stuff i'm like who eats pork chops and spare ribs and chicken breast on christmas day dinner but that's what we did and like i said the whole family came together and it was actually pretty cool i felt bad for my in-laws because i'm like 10 30 in the morning knocking on their door i need your food <laughs> he's like what i'm like yeah we're supposed to go to the grocery store and they're not open and now i'm epic failed so i need your food <laughs> basically so it worked out nicely everyone had a good time and nobody knew i didn't really tell anyone oh yeah we didn't make it to the grocery store we just have the weirdest christmas dinner ever and uh it worked out good though madeline had a fun time i got her a ton of gifts and uh or santa sorry santa santa got her a ton of gifts um molly was the only one left out i actually forgot to get him something and we went to the store the day after i got him some treats and he's all happy he didn't know don't tell molly even though he's sitting right here but um yeah we didn't really get anything good in this pack opening unfortunately uh, i just had that little story to share yeah if you guys have a cool christmas story drop it in the comment section below that would be pretty cool um pink slips are coming up i do have informed tevez i showed you the squad builder in the last video leave a comment and like that video in order to be eligible to play i am going to pick someone and play I've actually got a rematch with Full Metal Zoe as well. Um, he kicked my butt the first time, and I, I want a rematch. I want to play again, dang it. So I'm going to put my Inform Tevez up there. And uh, if I lose him, i got to buy him again. So that sucks to play you guys. So, um, yeah, it should be fun. 2014 is going to be better than 2013. I'm hoping and crossing my fingers. Uh, I've got a couple more things coming up. I might do a career mode. I've been itching to do it. People have been asking me to do one. And I think I can jump on and play a few games. Um during the week and be able to, you know, edit a video and get it out more frequently versus what I'm doing now, just like a couple of videos a week. So um, that could be interesting. Show your support. Let me see what teams you want to see me use. I don't want to start off with a big club, you know, like Arsenal and whatnot, even though it would be fun. I know uh, MGH is doing Roma, so he kind of has that in the bag. I would have liked to do Roma, but that's okay. Um, pick a team. Throw them in the comment section below. See if I can work my way up maybe into... Um, you know, top of the league, get some good stuff. I haven't played career mode since FIFA 09, so that is going to be an absolute... Uh, Shocker to me to open up, you know, FIFA 14 career mode and see what's going on. We did pick up a Bate here. Look at that. Nicely done going in the Serie A squad. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it should be good. 2014, looking forward to it. 13 had a couple rough patches in it for me, and uh, I'm sure some of you guys did too. I actually dropped a Thanksgiving video on Thanksgiving, and you guys seemed to love that and showed all your thanks for the years, and it was good to see that and nice that people were still having good times in this uh, 
crazy world of ours that we live in. But um, that's basically the pack opening. Nothing too special here. Just kind of wanted to talk to you for once. Haven't really had a story in a while. Kind of just, you know, oh, here's the pack opening. Yay, we get Alaba. Yay, you know, that type of thing. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for the support as always. You guys are so cool, man. And uh, yeah, I will get a pink slips out soon. And until next time, peace.